So Hershey, your first season at this level. So difference between JUCO and here, how, how big of a jump is it? Um, it's a very big jump. I mean, I ain't never been able to play against people at this caliber and play a, play in front of a lot of people like I am now. So it's very different. The speed is kind of faster. So, but now I'm getting used to it now. So it's getting almost the same. Bunch of different guys back there. You got a bunch of guys that have been beat up and so forth. Has it been difficult to get a feel and adjust to all the different guys that are out there playing at different times? You know, how you have that uh, back and forth during the game. Has it been difficult to get accustomed to that a little bit? Yeah, it's kind of because usually I ain't, I ain't never had to switch when I won. But now I'm just playing my role, doing whatever coach want me to do and whatever to help the team win. The most difficult part of this level, you said you mentioned a couple of things: speed of the game, yeah. bigger receivers. What what is the biggest adjustment for you? I say the speed. It's not really the the size of the player because I feel like I'm a very big size for my safety. So I don't feel like I'm playing against nobody that's just bigger that I have to fear or nothing like that. Biggest area you think the defense has got to clean up, in your opinion? Um, I have to say communication. As far as knowing the checks, like going with the motions, and the, just adjusting to the offense when they're moving. So Beverly serves you were a high school quarterback, yeah. right? So did you play much defensive back in high school? What was that? No, actually, I played. I played corner one like one game when I was in ninth grade. But as far as playing defense, this is my third year playing defense ever. I played quarterback all my life. The, you got to think of that as a, a, a tough adjustment. You didn't have to tackle many people, hopefully, nah. as a quarterback. Yeah. Was that, was that hard, just making that move? Um, quarterback is really like a safety on defense, like you see everything. So it's not that hard, but, I mean, it's a lot of adjusting from being a quarterback all your life to playing safety now. Describe what it's like, what goes through your mind when you when you see a team that does a lot of shifting, a lot of motioning. I know Kansas got you a little bit on it. Not you, but the defense. Yeah. Uh, these guys like to do that. Um, there have been other teams that do that. What, what do you, what, what, what's your process? What, what do you go through? What are your check marks or whatever you go through when you see all these things happen in front of you? Um, when I say out there, I just focus on getting to where I'm supposed to be so I know what I need to do and how I need to do it okay. instead of being late to it, and then they already running the play. So then, so basically, when they moving, you just got to move with them at the same pace. You mentioned uh, communication. Did having Charles back help in that area? Oh yeah, definitely. Cause he's a veteran. I mean, he knows the defense. He's been here more than how long? He's the most experienced on our team as far as in the back end. So I feel like him coming back really benefited us and helped us. And, and you know, aside from just what physically do I mean did, did, did he bring a confidence oh yeah him? definitely he definitely yeah. had that swagger like he wants the best player on on any team and I believe he can handle any receiver you you put him against yeah, you mentioned you say he's the most experienced guy back there he's played 14 career division one games or West Virginia that kind of speaks to how inexperienced a lot of you guys yeah. are back there yeah because the mo the uh, the oldest on our team is on the back end is probably Marcus I think, yeah, so he's really, like, both of them experienced, but Charles just got to play at this level more than Marcus, so I feel like he's the most experienced right now. Okay, the important question, uh, where did Hershey come from? Uh, uh, how did the na name come about? Um, I already knew this question going to come up. So when I was younger, my auntie called me a name that I ain't like. The name is Cornbread. Like, like this is actually the first time I ever told somebody that like, the name was Cornbread. So she named me Cornbread for so long, then I was like, that ain't my name no more. My name Hershey. So I named myself Hershey when I was younger. That's how Hershey came about. So you did it yourself. It wasn't something? No, nah, it was me. It was all me. Name myself Hershey. So does everybody in the family now call you Hershey? Does anybody still call you Cornbread? Where is yeah. it? Actually, she still called me Cornbread to this day. Like, I don't think Cornbread will ever die down with her. I'm, I'm forever be Cornbread to her. <laughs> Did you like Hershey chocolate a lot as a kid? Actually, 
I don't like chocolate. I don't eat chocolate. Hershey, like, the name of Hershey don't come from me eating chocolate. It's just, I mean, I'm just Hershey, I guess. I How have you adjusted to Morgantown? I mean, it, uh, it's getting a little colder. I'm sure you didn't deal with all this where you were from. No, nah, where I'm from is very hot, and I had to really get adjusted. Like, I ain't never had to wear this many clothes ever in my life. Did you own a winter jacket? Like a couple, that was thin though, nothing thick. Now I got wool jackets and stuff like that. You got it going on to be able to ma name yourself and, and have it stick. You know, George Costanza tried that and he couldn't get a nickname. <laughs> nah, um, yeah, the way. Yeah, you can't give yourself. Yeah, the way Hershey got out though. So when I was in high school, I had moved up when I was in eighth grade, and I threw a touchdown like the first game I played, and I don't think the head coach knew my real name was Marquise. He thought my real name was Hershey. So in Mass Pro, he put Hershey McLaurin through a touchdown. So that's how Hershey just carried over. That was in the eighth grade, you said? Yes, sir. I guess the trick is to downplay your real name. <laughs> and then do something good, right? Yeah. That sticks, right? Besides on the field stuff, the difference in JUCO and in FBS football, uh, do you appreciate what you have here? Because you probably didn't have these same type of things in junior Oh, yeah, high. definitely. I ain't never had this many resources. I mean, we had someone at Jones. My name was Miss Carla. She really helped us. But we, here is more than just her. Like, it's four of her. So it makes it way better. Food, imagine. Is yeah. <laughs> Hershey, did you think quarterback would be the way for you in college initially? Those numbers. You yes, sir, I actually did. But as, at one point, I just got tired of getting hit, and then I just wanted to hit people, so that's why I did switch over. Was there a, uh, I don't know, injury, I guess, but like just something about, was there a particular hit instance, time of your life, or like that, just kind of had enough of this? Um, yeah, I think, but actually, I had really got hurt playing safety in high school. When I tore my ACL, I was playing safety, so. I really just wanted to switch over and see and just explore my options because I never got to play defense, like, ever until college. So I just wanted to see how I feel to play defense. Other sports? Were you a basketball guy, too? Yes, sir. Uh, can you still play? Oh, yeah, definitely. Who's the best player on the team? Me. <laughs> They'll tell you. <laughs>